on my feet, keep my sights complete. Like, 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 all right, all right. What's going on, YouTube? Caddy 12 Whopper back in front of the video. Um, this video is main, basically going to be about me recapping uh, 2012, the year 2012 for me with copy shoes. I had a monster year with pickups. Um, definitely going to slow down in 2013. Um, I literally have about 20 to 25, maybe even 30 shoes that I haven't showed you guys, and I'm probably going to pop out and just start reviewing it in 2013 in groups because I have too much to show. But it's been a crazy year. It's been a lot of good pickups. Um, shout out to everybody who's hooked me up. Shout out to anybody who's bought his shoes off of me. Um, 2012 was a pretty crazy year. You know, all these retros were coming out. People were going crazy. Um, I was able to kind of control myself. But yeah, um, big shout out to my girlfriend who actually helped me out a lot in the year 2012. Um, whether it was copy shoes, um, going re winning raffles, just everything she did for 2012. You know, I couldn't do it without her. So big shout outs to her. Um, like I said, 2013, I'm definitely going to slow down a lot. Um, I went a little too crazy this year, but um, I'll still be doing a lot of reviews. Um, so let me go ahead and get into the, into the top five shoes that I have. This is my top five. Top five that I like, that I like to wear, stuff like that. Not my best five, but my top five shoes that definitely made the year special for me. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already know that I've been going crazy with shoes. Um, follow me at caddy 12 whopper and on Twitter. So without further ado, let me start off with shoe number five. Okay, so for shoe number five, we have the Air Jordan 12 Retro in the white, black, varsity red colorway. It is a Cherry 12s. Um, these were a Christmas present, I mean a birthday gift from my girlfriend earlier in the year. Um, she totally surprised me with these. Um, I really, really like these a lot when she gave them to me. Um, I'm pretty sure I wore them for like three or four days straight. Um, they're a nice shoe. You know, I like the whole leather fear feel to it. They dropped earlier in, um, in the first decade of 2010 and below and all that shit. But um, it was a Cherry 12. This was a birthday present from my girlfriend to me. Um, I really like these. I still really like these. Um, I mean, that's the main reason why they're number five on my list. I mean, it's a clean shoe. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a birthday present, so it does have some meaning to it. Um, I just really like the shoe because it's a shoe that I never, really never really paid attention to until she actually bought it as a birthday present, and I got to really enjoy this shoe. Um, it's a really dope shoe, great colorway. Um, so this is number five on my, on my list. The number four pickup, uh, number four on my list of my top five pickups is going to be the Air, Air Max 90. Um, they're the, uh, what's it called, the Hyper, Hyperfuse Air Max 90s. Yeah, Hyperfuse Air Max 90s. Um, I know Anchor's Bus is going to be really hating on me because he actually, I was talking crap on these before because the pictures made them look whack to me. So um, I haven't reviewed these yet, but um, I do but I do have them. I got them about a month after the release. I walked into my local finish line just shopping around and I looked and these were on the shelves. So I was like, what the hell, you know? So I went ahead and purchased them and since that day, this is the comfiest shoe in my collection. Um, I love wearing this shoe. Definitely break necks. Um, I totally underestimated it. Um, I mean, don't judge a book by its covers. Um, this shoe is phenomenal. Um, I love this shoe. If I could have two pairs, I would, but I'm not gonna pay the 180, 200 that people are selling them for. I got it for retail at my finish line. They were just literally sitting there. They were just literally sitting on the shelf. Uh, now I kind of regret not copying two pairs, but um, what I'll do for now. So like I said, I haven't reviewed these yet, so I'll probably throw these into one of a video randomly. Um, I really like it. It's a really dope shoe, really comfortable. It looks fucking awesome on feet um it gets people wet but um it's a dope shoe so this is number four on my list um i really like this shoe really glad i have it 
the number three pickup of my top five for this year is going to be the Nike SB Tiffany's. Um, this is a really clean shoe. Everybody knows a lot of people's grails. Um, I had a pair a year or two years before, but I sold it off. And I went literally on a hunt for like a whole month. Um, I paid a little more than what I wanted to pay for them. But when you really want a shoe, you know, nothing's really going to hold you back. The lighting's kind of making them look a little ugly. I'm not too sure how they're going to look on camera, but I can tell right now because I like that the lighting, they look a little ugly. But um, super clean, 100% um, stars, really super clean shoe. Um, the Tiffany SBs, um, not much other to say. I was able to recop one of my grails. Um, the croc skin is just shiny as hell still. Just a beautiful shoe. Um, I'm glad I could have it back in my collection. If any of you guys don't have the shoe in your collection, I'm pretty sure you guys are working on it. But this is definitely worth the money they go for. Um, I don't care what people say about Because literally this year, I've only spent more than $200 on a pair of shoes maybe three times. Out of like all the 100 plus shoes I have in my collection, I've only paid more than more than two, $250. $250 more. I've only done that twice. This is one of the shoes I did. I paid... Um, Paid a good amount for these. Um, I'm really happy I have them, like I said. Uh, when you really want something, nothing's really gonna stop you. So right now I'm on the hunt for Grinches. I'm gonna eventually get those. But um, this is the number three. The number two pickup that I got this year is gonna be the Air Yeezy. Shout out to my boy Young. Big shout out to you, bro. Um, he hooked me up ridiculously for these. Like he gave me a monster hookup. I really appreciate it. Um, OG box and everything. They are the Zen Gray Yeezys. Um, this is the other shoe I paid more than $250 for. <laughs> it's just a crazy shoe. Um, a lot of people are saying my shoes are fake because of the inner, but the inner is fading. So don't start hating again. Um, this is 100% legit. Um, I'm just really happy to have these. This was the number two pickup in my collection for this year because I never thought I'd spend more than five bills on a pair of shoes and uh, this shoe right here obviously goes for that much so big shout out to my boy young for hooking me up with these um they are the zen gray easy one i was not able to get the easy two but i'm not tripping over it um i have these for now i know i eventually get the easy twos but these will do for now so i mean literally after maybe two years of collecting not having a legit gray on my collection i went out and caught these off my boy young so these are number two for this year's pickup for me um, I know a lot of people probably have these number one but uh, for me they're number two um, I really love the shoe I have only worn it twice since I've gotten it so yeah there's that and the number one pickup numero uno number one for this year it is probably the hottest shoe of 2012 with the KD4 this is the KD4 colorway for me um, it's the All-Star Game KD. When these dropped, um, what can I say? Um, everybody was going out trying to get the Galaxy, the Galaxy Foam Posit. Everybody was sleeping on these. Literally, when I was in line, people were asking me, what shoe am I here for? I said the KDs. And they were like, why are you even camping out? And it's true, they didn't really sell, they didn't sell out. I mean, I camped out overnight. I had three pairs when they first released. Now that I think about it, I probably should have kept two, since I really, really like this shoe. But, you know, the shoe is fucking crazy. Um, a lot of people are still hunting for this shoe now, now that they slept on it. Um, I'm glad I still have my pair. It's dead stock. I'm probably, I won't really keep my shoes dead stock, but this is one shoe I probably will keep dead stock. Um, I really love this shoe. Um, like I said, I camped out for it. I knew I wanted it. Um, I didn't care what people were telling me in line. I wanted to have my pair guaranteed. It'd be cool to have the Galaxy Foam Pods, don't get me wrong, but... These right here, these shoes are fire. Um, I really like these. I'm glad I was able to get a pair of these. Um, I'm probably never gonna sell these, honestly, ever. Um, it's definitely a top five shoe in my collection. Definitely, definitely, you know, the KD was hot. The KD model was super hot. Um, I'm just really glad to have these in the collection. You know, these are my number one pickup from this year. Um, I just really love the whole theme, the whole Galaxy theme. I'm really into space and shit. So I'm just really glad that they dropped a shoe like this. Um, you know, KD had a good year. I'm more of a Kobe fan, but I give it up to KD. Um, the shoe right here is freaking phenomenal. What else can I say? Um, so those are my top five shoes for this year. Let me know what you guys think. 
Let me just gather the other sucker. He's right here. So these are my top five shoes for this year. I have to find a way to hold them all up. There we go. Let me know what you guys think about my top five. Uh, there they are. Number five was the Cherry 12s. Number four was the Hyperfuse. Number three was the Tiffany. Two was the Easy. And number one was the KD Galaxy. So comment, like, subscribe, YouTube. I'm going to be showing you guys my Christmas pickups next. I know it's overdue by about a week. But um, I've just been super busy, super lazy at that. So comment, like, subscribe, YouTube. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what your guys' top, what your guys top pickup was. Peace.